Okay, guys, I, we have to talk about this. So last night I'm on Instagram and I'm scrolling and Danielle Merrifield posted this picture, of, I guess, of Garrick kneeling in front of an ottoman. I don't know if he thinks Jesus is hiding in there or what, but he's kneeling. He's supposedly praying. And the caption underneath it reads, ladies, this right here should be what you seek in a husband. <laughs> Look for a man who loves the Lord and seeks him daily. Garrick is a man that fears the Lord. He has a true heart after God. When a man puts God first, he will lead you and your children in true righteousness. <laughs> we need to talk about this because wow. <laughs> Hey, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Debbie. I am the She in Sheality TV and like I said in the intro, this is a joke. Come on. Okay, so um, like I said, I was on Instagram and Danielle posted this about what a great husband Garrick is and how every woman should aspire to have a husband like him. And I, I don't know, am I the only one remembering what happened, I mean, or what's been happening, how they got on the show, how he divorced her so that he could marry Roberta, and Roberta wound up not even coming to the state so they didn't get married, and all of the the manipulation and the, I don't know, the, the, the lies by omission and all of that other kind of stuff. Is she forgetting about their first trip to Mexico? And um, she made a deal with Garrick that he, he and Roberta would not be intimate uh, until she was, they actually decided that she was going to be their second wife, second, well, first wife, whatever you want to call it, because they're not married anymore. And that he actually did sleep with Roberta and they kept it a secret from her. Is she forgetting that? This is the type of man that you're telling other women that they should aspire to? Come on now. Come on. Maybe she doesn't remember the pain that this pious man put her through maybe it's kind of like childbirth you know they say you forget that pain but you really don't they lie you never forget that kind of pain kind of like the pain of living under the same roof with a man who convinced you that it was okay for him to cheat on you right under your nose and made your weak mind believe that god was okay with it this is what god wants and it's so damn great that you want to jump on instagram and wish it for everybody else but here's the catch I don't believe that Danielle was the one who made that post. I believe 100% that it was Garrick jumping in, thought he was going to get a little bit of an ego stroke, but regardless of who it is, they are fighting for their life in the comments because wow, these people are eating them alive. Whoever made that post is getting chewed. Let's take a look at some of them, shall we? First one says, well, the Lord says not to fornicate and going to Brazil to pork his next victim is definitely not in the Lord's plan. Next, just a friendly reminder, you don't have a husband. He divorced you. Mm-hmm. And that he did with a quickness, and you let him. Then somebody else said, I promise you, literally no one looks at your husband and thinks, this is what I want in my life. LMAO. And last but not least, I'm going to wrap this up real quick. This is just supposed to be a really quick video. Wifey Maryfield supposedly chimes in. Again, I, I feel like this is Garrick. And he slash she said, Garrick and I are not legally married. What it is about is the heart. Garrick is committed as a husband. He does not take intimacy lightly. <laughs> what makes someone married before God is having sex. You are one flesh and married. Marriage has never been a document. God searches the heart of a man. Okay, boo. Whatever. Whatever. Whatever blows your hair back, if that helps you sleep at night, okay. Whatever. Does that not sound to anyone else like someone who talked his wife into getting a divorce so that he could marry someone else and add her to their so-called union? Anyone? Is it just me? Anybody else? Anyone? This was just supposed to be a really quick little video, um, but I do have a little something something planned for tomorrow, so do come back again and as usual. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it, and I will see you tomorrow.